Hey folks, Dave here, and welcome back to my gigantic Let's Build project here at the custom settlement location that's been created at Thicket Excavations. Again, if you guys want the mod that turns this fantastic quarry location into a settlement, you can find it linked in the description, or just check it out over on the Nexus. It's pretty easy to find. Last week, we worked on our Riot Armory right here, which I'm pretty happy with. Still making a couple of small tweaks to it. This week though, we're not going to be working in the workshop, we're going to be returning to the creation kit again this week, because I want to do a bit of research on some of Bethesda's settlements and some of their locations, because I want to work today on our first prisoner structures. For the first time, we're going to be going inside of the actual prison and figuring out how some of the upper tier prisoners might be living, the ones who can afford to... Uh, builds some housing right up here near the exit to the prison because like I mentioned this prison is going to work off of a uh, kind of tiered system if you guys are Star Wars fans maybe imagine it like the capital planet of Coruscant below the surface there's going to be a lot going on so if you're a prisoner who has either earned enough caps or smuggled enough caps in you're definitely gonna want to be as close to the surface as you can get Let's go ahead and go over to the creation kit, and I'll show you guys how we're going to build this shack structure today. To get things started for the prisoner uh, kind of upper class residences, where the highest ranking prisoners on the totem pole are staying, I want to look at some reference for some good scrappy shack-like structures. So I've flown over here to Libertalia in the creation kit, and we're going to take a look at some reference. Let's go ahead and get some flat lighting here. This is such a cool area in the base game. Just a floating city. But this stuff right here on the bottom is what I'm looking for. These are all different pieces of the shack sets that you can build parts of in the base game as wooden shacks. But there's some pieces here in the creation kit like this big piece of railing right here that kind of opens up your options a bit more. Oh, that's so cool. They even have bits of mast used as structural supports with cabling to tie it all together. Really, really cool use of material here. Go ahead and grab some of this debris in the corners and stuff like that. We're going to make this super detailed. I'll leave stuff like the crates behind for now. So let's grab the rooftops, make sure we have the last couple supports because I've been deselecting a few things by accident. Okay. Copy render, and we're off. Let's head on back to the quarry. Here's what it looks like without any of the models loaded. I don't have this on my SSD, so it's gotta stream in off the hard drive takes its sweet time. Well, while it loads in, let me go ahead and add a new layer. Um, let's call it Shack Reference. This will be a temporary layer. Make it the active layer right there. Where we can just uh, paste our template stuff. Let's paste it down here. Okay, here it comes. Let's see what we got here. So, this is how I'm imagining this being laid out, guys. The upper class prisoners are going to fight for these bits of housing crammed way up here at the top of the quarry because it's the closest to the surface, making it pretty desirable. You want to be as close to that natural light as possible. And you're also not below our gigantic... Uh, floating spotlight tower over here. So I imagine that would be a uh, pretty nice perk to not have those lights shining on you 24-7. I'm just going to drop some of this shack stuff down here and see what we have to work with. Let's turn off snapping for now. Get a little bit of more fine-tuned control. 
with some modifications, I think this chunk right here is quite usable as a base. I'm gonna leave all that furniture over there for now. And let's put some of these walls up like this. Rotate this one around, and we're gonna tuck everything into the corner right here. We'll have a few more shacks along this way. I think this is going to be our big one right here. Where it's going to be a uh, almost prison mansion. Like this is where you stay if you uh, have earned your place here in the prison. Up top. Scoot this out like so. And we gotta delete some of these railings that are here. How's that one now? That one's okay. We'll put this shelf out here. You guys had mentioned moving spotlights in the last episode, so I grabbed one of these. And we'll put some smaller moving spotlights where we can. Just because those giant uh, Pridwin lights, which I think I have hidden right now. Let's see if I can unhide them. Uh, those can't move. So they'll be static, but we can add some smaller lights to complement them. Let's change our uh, snap reference here to that floor piece. Let's see. I think having this floor piece up like that is a good idea, but I think I'm going to turn snapping off and place it manually. Those support pillars need to, I think, shift slightly. We're going to put some large beams underneath this. This is a good jumping off point, I think. Okay, we're going to do a search here in our object window for shack. And that'll get us, if we go to, not architecture, let's see. If we find the right category, here we go. I hear the wind howling outside, <laughs> let's do a save. Might lose power here. Um, if we look at our shack wall and shack floor pieces, we should be able to find some that will go well with this. That should be the yeah the metal shack walls right there. Move this off screen so I have a bit more room to work. Shack balcony floor, just to cover up some of this. Uh, squared off section right here with this big piece right there. I want to put a few smaller sections around it. Fill in the gaps, if you will. So we'll do that piece. Yeah, like that. That looks good. I think if we take a couple of these pieces and add kind of an edge like that, even if we use two of the same ones, it'll create a nice little base to make that look less squared off. And I think we might put some kind of, uh, maybe a railing of some kind there. 
I'm going to delete that debris in the corner, though, just because I want more of a walkway right here. And maybe instead of deleting that stone piece, we'll just move it back like that. I'm going to tilt this a little bit so that it's not poking up through the concrete or the stone. Okay. We're definitely going to need some support beams for this corner structure. Let's go ahead and look at that next. Uh, if I just do a search for beam. It's going to be lots of big beams, but a metal beam might work well. We can kind of create this uh, junky support system, possibly. And this is why I wanted to do this part today in the creation kit and not in game, because you've got a bit more uh, options that you can work with here in the creation kit for stuff like this. It's just going to be a lot harder to do in game. You can do it for sure, all these supports and stuff like this. But it's nice to have access to all of the building pieces in the game for unusual structures like this wall shack. Let's rotate this one just a bit. I'm thinking about having like a little staircase that goes down here. Maybe a chair and like a couch on the lower section. Yeah, this will give us a cool platform in game to work with. So this is a good start, but I think it looks a little too neat and organized. So I'm going to delete a couple of these pieces and find ones that maybe don't fit quite as nicely. Shack mid floor 01, that's what we were using. Mid floor B, that's the concrete foundation. That's the foundation with legs. Here we go. This should definitely help break up that repetition. Let's put it down here, actually. Floor to roof. Mid-roof 01. Oh, that's a cool idea. Let's use a piece of the rooftop. We've still got a very strong line right here where it looks like it was just snapped together in the workshop. So I'm going to pull this roof piece in some. Break up the silhouette of those lines just a bit. And then I'll do the same with that piece. In fact, if I take this piece right here, move it slightly like that, and then up a little bit, then we can take a piece of plywood and cover up some of the gaps like that, giving it that more constructed look. There we go, guys. We've got a lot less of those straight lines going on. And the more plywood that we place, the more convincing it gets. Now that looks pretty cool for some supports. I wonder where I could have the staircase come down. I don't think I'd use these uh, metal staircases from the original quarry because this is all supposed to be new construction, so it's going to be crappy shack wood for the most part. OK, 
Okay, we got a couple of these pieces here that we don't need for our shacks. Let's see what we've got here. Show you guys what I'm searching off screen. Lost it behind the render window. Okay. Shack wall. Shack wall. Outer corner. Yeah, we're going to be using some of these pieces to finish out our prisoner area here. Make sure we have the correct object snapping. And I'll just start working on that staircase when I come across the right piece. These guys do have the premium location. Oh, this is an inner wall. Whoops. Uh, the premium location right up next to uh, the outer gate to the prison. So they probably get the freshest food drops and whatever else might come into the prison from up top. Make sure we have snapping on. Let's get building on our shack here. Where is our door? Shack steps, shack stairs. There's our wooden staircase. Take a second to place that. Where could that go? Is there a place where we could have a hole in the floor, maybe? Yeah, maybe even here. Let's move this debris aside for the moment. Wait, is that floating now? No, it's okay. Yeah, let's put a staircase in. And we'll seal in, oh, that's the small one, whoops. We'll seal in the uh, right side of the hole here with some half pieces of floor. We're gonna have a little bit of, well, a lot actually of, height to go down still, but we're getting there. Is that lined up? Not quite. This piece right here, for example, makes a nice half section. Let's grab this one too. Oh, we still have this support thing going on. There we go. That shouldn't block it too much now. That'll add some to the unevenness that we're going for here. One of the supports not quite lined up right. But I don't want it blocking the staircase for sure. Let's grab one of these pieces for our staircase landing. How much is that clipping through? Uh, just a little bit, so we can do this. We can just make it a crappy staircase that's tilted slightly. Yeah, 
even if this was built by prisoners, I feel like one railing section right down here would be pretty smart, right? Okay. Now we have access to the lower section. Don't think we really need that rooftop with the hole in it, so let's take it out. That's another cool thing about the creation kit is all these bits of rock debris you can place. I've got mods to let me place some trash and stuff, but Honestly, I would love a mod for the in-game workshop where I can just place tons of that broken trash and debris and stuff. I think I'm going to leave most of this outer edge alone. I kind of like how it looks. Ah, I've been looking for a doorway, and I think I'm going to use this metal one instead of the shack one, just to make things look more interesting. Let's grab this half wall piece here. We'll fill in the gap. Where did that paste? <laughs> no idea where that went. There we go. I must have had something random copied. We're going to fill in the inside of this metal doorway with the shack pieces. Again, one of the cool things you can do in the creation kit is just make uh, some unusual buildings. Outer. And let's actually replace, let's say, this piece with this one right here that I just found, which is the one that has that cool sheet hanging off of it. This part, I'm probably going to do a lot of it with snapping turned on to make sure that we line all of the walls up. If we do this piece like this, we can use that end cap that's open as a doorway, which is something else to think about. I'm not sure if I should add doors to this uh, prisoner housing. They'd be allowed to have doors, I wonder. Hmm. I'll leave doors off for now. You guys tell me what you think. Let's get some of these shack roofs going. I'll probably go ahead and place these and then scoot them out of the way so we can detail some of the interior with some uh, furniture here in the creation kit too. And then lower the height to the correct one. There we go. Sometimes trying to figure out what elevation things are at can be a little bit tricky. Yeah, we'll do one last real junky section. That looks pretty convincing with the staircase below it and the iron girders. One thing that might be cool is to have with these iron girders, I'm going to make a copy of it right here, to have some of them that run down the wall, like they were just bolted on, and then used as like a lip, basically, for putting the shack stuff on top of. I'll show you guys what I mean here. Yeah, there we go. Let's look at that with some lighting. Shift our time of day. Turn on the giant spotlights. That's pretty cool. Well, if we keep that spotlight there, I do need to move, if I can find it, the little point light. You guys can see it glowing there somewhere. So it's not clipped inside of the building, it needs to be 
where the spotlight's actually hitting. Where is that point light? Let's turn on transparency and try to find it. Oh my. It's a lot of snap points there. There's the light bulb. You guys see it? Right. Nope. Right there. Okay. Go out of the wireframe mode. Well, that's floating right in my face. There we go. This way, it looks like that spotlight beam is hitting right on the shack balcony. Like that. That looks cool. So it started as a chunk of Libertalia has now become a pretty unique section for the prison. Let's go ahead and hide those lights again. I'm still working on finding a way to make them less bright during the day, but for now, they look awesome at night, and that's what I was going for. I think to wrap up this bit of construction before we move in-game, I need to seal off this last edge here. And I think we'll place a few bits of furniture, and then do a bit of detailing in-game. Just a bit, because I'm still thinking over how much and what style of detailing I want for the prisoner areas, because they're going to be some of the trickier ones. This is like a long-term prison. Some prisoners are going to come and go as temporary workers, but there's going to be people who, as you guys put it, were put here, and then the key was just thrown away. So, i got to figure out, for my personal lore, how much... Uh, of a personal possession deal are they going to have going on here? Like how much are they going to be able to smuggle in? What kind of things might we see in the prisoner housing? I'm going to clip this like that. Which will leave just a small wall section if I can find one over here. to unevenly fill the gap. But it's kind of cool how it tucks into that curved part of the stone there. This rooftop, though, needs to come back, I think. Like that. There we go. Now we're talking. Looks much more natural, like that. Let's see, I wonder what other super structure we could have hanging off the edge. It made sense to have one big one for kind of, again, the uh, prisoners who have worked their way to the top. There might be occasional slums hanging off the edge. And the more I think about it, guys, the more I think about this not just being like sleeping quarters, but... This perhaps being a partial upper class bar, maybe? Let's think about it like that. If we divide the room in half, like this, we could have the high class sleeping quarters over here. And then a bar where only those who have the caps can pay to play, if you will. Yeah, I like that. As a concept. Let's just delete that piece. Actually, let's put it over here. Where did it go? There you are. So let's plan on that, guys. Let's make this a bar. And combination upper class 
sleeping area. So I'll move some of this storage out here. So this uh, central area is going to be the bar. And I will grab some wall pieces here. Uh, shack wall. To divide the room off a bit. Seal that wall up right there. We'll make a lot of this interior space, uh, the sleep sections, and then the exterior space out here will be the bar. I'm liking how that is sounding. If we're going to have people walking through here, we definitely want <laughs> some kind of railing to watch the stairs. So this will be one of the probably multi-bed sleeping quarters, or perhaps this central room might be the owner of the bar, whoever has probably murdered his way to the top. And so some of these interior spaces probably should have a door or two. Oh, here we go. Just what I was looking for. Bunker Hill door frame. Okay, that looks pretty good. So that's his private quarters there in the center. What do we have for a bar? Barricade panel, barge, concrete rebar chunk. Cafe counter. That's the super clean one. Diamond fence, wood large, barbed. It'd be awesome to find a mod that let you build all of these fence pieces. Manual barrier. Player house ruin, kitchen cabinet, bare metal. Ooh, yeah, I like this style here. So put one of those bar pieces up against the wall there. This could be a cool change of pace. Industrial uh, cabinets from downtown. Alignment's going to be a bit funky. Let's try to snap some edges onto it. Yeah, this is a cool, different kind of bar, I think. Well, guys, this is running a little bit long, so I think I'm going to do just a couple bits of detailing uh, with the furniture, and then we'll call it a day for now. Actually, I'm thinking we don't have enough room for two bars, so I'm going to delete that one. We'll put a couple of chairs and tables in that back section instead. There we go. Nice, rough-looking metal table. Yeah, guys, I like this as a starting point for our bar. It makes sense that if the uh, upper-class prisoners that have, again, stabbed and murdered their way to the top have some really nice rooms up here, they would definitely have some kind of venue, like a bar, to bring in some caps. Let's take a look in-game, and then we're going to call this complete. For the moment. Like all of my builds, nothing is ever truly complete until the final door. For now though, let's hop in-game. Alright gang, we are in-game. Let's take a look at how our first shack structure is looking from above. There it is right there. We've got some cool lighting effects in the front from this little spotlight tower. And you know, looking down the uh, edge here, I think we do have room for 
maybe one or two other structures hanging off the edge. Okay, that spotlight up there looks awesome in the storm. As you guys can see, if I go into free cam, I made just a couple of additional changes once we left the creation kit. I added some of these uh, tarps you can see here kind of floating in the wind to match the tarps that you see elsewhere in the settlement. I think that really helps to uh, ground the overall look to this shack structure. This does feel like some kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Cyberpunk prison almost? It's got a really cool feeling to it, I think. And as you guys can see, I'm also tightening up those support cables for the center structure. And I'm probably going to add a couple more towers as well, just to make it look like it's uh, really sturdy. But enough of that, let's take a look at this thing up close. <laughs> Got a floating cone here. Just knock into it. There's the front. And it also looks like there's a gap in the terrain there I've got to fix. Overall though, guys, this is pretty nifty. So yeah, vote in the comments, door or no door for the bar. This guy's definitely got to have his executive bed in here though. His own private door. Whoever's the, probably I guess the boss of the criminal element here in the settlement. Might add some more of those road signs too. It'd be a cool look for the bar. Yeah, I like that rusted out counter. Something different compared to my usual uh, Minutemen bar locations. Well guys, again, this has run pretty long. You guys can see how long some of the creation kit stuff takes here. Now, that looks pretty sweet. And I'll do some detailing on my own as far as furniture and of course micro detailing goes because uh, you know this is just totally undetailed right now. Here's our lower structure. And you know I might not put any railings down here. This might be like a an eating area just with no protection whatsoever for if you fall. Well guys, that's going to be it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this part of the build. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.